All right, time for uh, business in Vancouver once again. Timothy Renshaw is with us. Steve. And Grace has been talking about it, the return to the PST yeah. today. It's officially uh, in effect, so say goodbye to the HST. So let's talk a little bit about uh, who's rejoicing today. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. There's a lot of people rejoicing, but I'm not sure why they would be. But I know the NDP would probably be the first to be rejoicing because I think the institution of the HST was uh, kind of the beginning of the end of the uh, liberal kind of uh, popularity. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was a huge... It certainly hit. was Premier Campbell, that's for sure. It, Exactly, yeah, but I think the, uh, the whole party has been kind of uh, tarred with the way this was brought in. I mean, the, the tax itself for business, uh, especially manufacturing businesses, those kind of big businesses, is mm -hmm. good because really the basic difference between HST and the PST is that uh, the HST, where it taxed the uh, final product, it didn't tax the input or the machinery and stuff that you uh, use to make the product. So. Um, with the PSD coming back, that's going to be taxed now, and so that really reduces the competitiveness of BC manufacturers, etc., which is bad. And the, the film industry has been talking; they really love the HST, and yeah, well, that yeah. really hurts them as well. Yeah, really. So, uh, so some people are rejoicing. I guess you know, restaurants. She's been talking about restaurant meals would be cheaper. But um, golf green fees, movie well, well, tickets. You'd like that, yeah. Movie tickets, yeah. Um, uh, gym memberships, things like that. Yeah. So th th those, I haven't seen cheaper restaurant meals yet. So I mean, uh, they, they they may come in, but it'll be marginally cheaper, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, let's talk about. Uh, you mentioned some of the big losers. Uh, business, obviously, certain businesses are that. Now, what about these businesses that haven't even signed up for it yet? Well, th yeah. There's another issue too, and also the uh, the added complication of. Uh, well, they haven't signed up. They probably haven't uh, redone their cash registers. All those kind of things are very complicated. And it's, mm -hmm. it's very confusing. I mean, two taxes versus one tax, just the, uh, the basic math adds up to me. It's, it would be far better to have one than two. Right. So. right. And uh, quickly, some uh, misconceptions about the tax. Well, I think uh, one of the main misconceptions uh, from my point of view is that people might think this was a, a switchback for economic reasons when really... Uh, it's it's was almost entirely political because right. I mean you can see the uh, the leverage that the NDP has got out of this and the other opposition parties from you know the way it was brought in and the opposition to it so all right uh, well, we'll see how it goes uh, it's here now and it's uh, here to stay for a while yeah, all, right. all right go to our website uh, BIV.com if you want some more details and I'm sure you'll be writing lots about this in business Vancouver Indeed. thanks Timothy thank you